Hi guys, how are you guys doing? Um, you guys probably are kind of confused, um, most likely with the title. But nah, it's true. Um, I'm not very happy with the current state of the Switch Axe in most of the world. And I just want to talk about it. Um, it might just be me just rambling, so I hope you guys, you know, bear with me. But... I believe my points are valid and I feel like a lot of people can relate um, hence the reason why I'm making this video because I feel like I'm not the only one you know well with that said let's dive into it okay to start things off the counters I'm not happy with the state of the counters currently in wilds so there are two two counters I would say one is a counter, one is more of a a system, the offset system. So the offset system, you press triangle and circle on PlayStation and you do this. The problem is it, you have to be in axe mode in order to do it. And honestly, I'm okay with that. No problem. Whereas for the other counter, which is R2 and triangle, you have to be in sword mode to do it. Now, what happened is that both of these counters have a problem. They have a problem or problems, especially the actual counter one. So problem number one, the counter makes you take cheap damage. And I'm not talking a small amount. I'm talking a big amount. And I will show you guys the clip right now. It sucks because of that using the counter almost feels like a death wish it's it's not fun it's really not fun especially when we all know some weapons have counters that don't make you take cheap damage at all now what happens is that when you want to react to the monsters you kind of feel lost if you're in sword mode and you want to offset the attack you can't because you had to be in axe mode and if you were in axe mode and maybe and now you cannot offset the attack that is coming but you can counter you can't because you had to be in sword mode so it makes reacting to attacks sometimes difficult because to do one of the counter you have to be in one of the modes it, it, it's just confusing it, it's annoying and the thing is sunbreak switch axe had the counter and the good thing about it was that when you activate it in axe mode it switches you instantly to sword mode instantly there was no animation and you could do the counter here if i press r2 and triangle bam it does not do the counter it just switches <laughs> oh man it does not so it makes it very difficult to react to attacks it's very difficult most of the time i just have to evade the attacks because if the attack is coming i'm like damn if i counter i'm gonna die <laughs> that's how it feels if i counter shit, i'm gonna die now it's not like the offset is safe the offset is weird sometimes you take damage sometimes you don't and i will show you guys a clip right now Honestly, I have no idea what just happened. It's the normal offset like usual, but I took damage. Why? I do not know. I, I do not know. So the offset system on Switch Axe makes you take damage and the counter makes you take damage. What the heck is going on? Another thing about the counter is that, that I particularly do not like, is when you do the counter, the one with the sword mode, it has this annoying animation of that double slash that it's just annoying it's just annoying because you cannot do anything until the animation ends and it locks you like in the position you were like if for example radio is coming from like in front of me and i do the counter i'm stuck in the position i was and radio can attack me from behind and to counter that, I had to come up with this way that I face 
my I turn my back to Rado when he's coming and then I counter from the back so that when he falls what should be normally behind me becomes in front of me and I can face him in front that's what I've been doing to counter that because it's super annoying you counter the monster and then you locked in front and the monster can just attack you from behind your, your back is open and it's not like you can just turn you cannot turn like a 360 you cannot do a 360 you have to manually move to turn around it sucks it really sucks the other thing with that counter is that it cannot be performed multiple times in a row i'm not talking spamming please do not come at me in the comment i'm not talking spamming i'm just saying that let's take long sword for example long sword can do the the yai slash and then go back into the yai slash like multiple times in a row no problem that counter on the switch axe cannot do something like that when you counter with the switch axe after doing that annoying double slash if you press the button to do the counter again you can't the character will just switch to axe mode it can and and that's annoying because you cannot do the counter again in axe mode so not only can you not do the counter after doing the counter but you forced into the axe mode which means you can't even do the counter again <laughs> it's super annoying so it's just like <sighs> like it just makes the counter unusable most of the time i'm just like what's the point of using the counter like what is the point if i do it i risk getting killed so might as well just evade since evading at least does not lock me into an annoying double slash and i can actually avoid damage so then the question is <laughs> what is the point of those counters what is the point because I don't see any. It, it clearly does not have any benefits. Matter of fact, it's super annoying and it risks you dying. Now, when it comes to the discharge, <laughs> I do not know whether the animation of the elemental discharge is too long now, or is the downtime of monsters that is just too 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 short. Because by the time you pull off one of your elemental discharge or umbrittle discharge the monster is already long gone he is not here anymore he's gone <laughs> it takes too much time like it just takes too much time why it's so slow and it just because it's your big damage it just you, you can't do it effectively you can't you just can't do it effectively and it, it just sucks it sucks really the other thing is the switch axe feels very weak the damage does not seem that strong it, it just does not i don't know if i'm the only one on that i might just be the only one on that but i don't feel the damage i just don't feel the damage like i do not feel the damage it feels weak considerably weak i don't know man like there is so much stuff that they brought to switch axe and I want to love it, but I just can't. Because all of those things have more cons than pros. And it makes it like, it feels like a core to play the Switch Axe right now. It feels like a core. It doesn't feel enjoyable. It doesn't feel fun. It feels annoying. And honestly, it's not even like Capcom needs to do that much things to make it better. Like, I can think of two things right now. Make that when you're in axe mode and you press R2 and triangle, it makes you switch immediately to sword mode and you can perform the counter. That would be amazing. That right off the bat would be amazing. Change number two. If they don't want to negate the damage entirely when you perform the counter, at the very least, negate like 80% of the damage. At least like 80%. Because what are we getting right now holy shit it's bad it's really bad so i don't know that's pretty much sums up all of my issues with the switch axe right now in the demo um i don't know if other people feel the same or you know some people think it's fine they like it this way i mean feel free to let me know in the comments if you think there's other things that you think 
um, are not that great about the weapon, let me know in the comments. But that will be all for me right now.